This is a time of graduation. This is a time of getting to that next rung on the ladder, or if we play video games, getting to that next screen, right? When you unlock a new door and you get into like this whole new world, this is that, y'all. This is that. This is what we must do in order to go through what we need to get to. So February 1st has always been a really big day for me. It's my sister in heaven's birthday, February 1st. But even before she was in heaven, I've always found that February 1st has been like, like um, a pivotal day in that I've had like huge aha moments and huge realizations and just something has kind of like come into me on February 1st. So this happened like in 2020, right? Um, where I had a big aha moment and I remember telling my sister and she's like, how do you know? I'm like, cause it was your birthday and I was calling you to celebrate you. And I just, I'll never forget that day. Right. And it had to do with my acting and my career and where I was then. Right. Um, it seemed like such a big deal then, but like Dominicans say, um, it's rained a lot since mucho ha llovido, which means like, um, you know, a lot has happened since then, right? I mean, think back, oh my gosh, that was even before we had the zaniness that we endured for three-ish years or however long that um, we had lockdowns and pandemics. And, you know, that was even before that, right? Mucho ha llovido. It's rained a lot. <laughs> so why I say that is because this year, on February 1st, I'm on my way to an event with Catherine and Shantae and it was flooding in LA. It's been really bad weather here in LA. As many of you have probably seen the images on the news, it's been really bad. And I was getting into my truck and I hit my head so hard, <laughs> so hard that I gave myself a concussion. <laughs> I laugh only because it was so silly of me. Like how I hit my head on my own truck and how I gave myself a concussion was really ridiculous. Um, but that's what had to happen, right? That's what happened. So I know I had a concussion because I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> um, and I had to get CT scans and I was and I had to get cleared for travel. So the beginning of the month really I it, it started out with a bang, literally, right? And it's wild because, of course, I couldn't share it on social because my mom sometimes sees me and like I didn't want her to worry from 3000 miles away that her other daughter's in the hospital. So I was being very careful with what I shared and how I shared it and who I shared it with. But um, I ended up going to the event. I didn't know I had a concussion. Right. And after the event, I had a film. So that video that you were talking about where the kid wears a mask and I'm the mom and Trevor, you think I'd be a nice mom? I think I'd be a good mom too, but you know, um, we'll see. And so I did that video with a concussion. <laughs> I had no idea. And <laughs> it was really interesting because the director who was super supportive was like looking at me because like, let's say I had to say floor. Oh, go take care of the floor, whatever my line was. And I'd be like, go take care of the fingers. And I was saying the most ridiculous things. And everybody was like, this is not Giovanna. And ultimately I shared with them that I banged my head so hard that um, they advised me to go to the hospital to get checked out. So <laughs> that was how um, February started for me. And it's really funny because you know my Oscar, if you know Oscar, right? He always has such a funny sense of humor. Um, after he went to the hospital for his what is this Spider-Man <laughs> bite that he got? I was in the hospital and I'm like, Oscar, February's like bumpy. He's like, is it because you bumped your head? <laughs> and I was like, I guess maybe that's what started it, right? That started it. And then guys, after that, I've been traveling back and forth to Arizona. So driving there, it's 
taken me, let's say, eight, nine hours to drive each way. And that's what I've been doing every weekend, unpacking and, and moving my sister out of her apartment, which has been a huge task, right? She lived in this like beautiful apartment with lots of furniture. Look at the mess we've inherited now that we need to like cipher through, guys. I'm going to show you why I'm kind of hiding things, okay? Do you want to see what this room looks like? This is one of the rooms. There's so much stuff in my house because we had nowhere else to bring it to, right? My family lives in Florida. We weren't going to take it to Florida, right? So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, hold on. Look at all. Hold on. Can I turn it anymore without her? Ooh, the mic almost fell. You can't even tell. That looks not as messy as it feels. Look, all the things that are in the way, all the stuff. It's just a lot. And this is just one of the rooms. So this is what I've been doing is unpacking my sister's stuff. It's just so much. And she had a full home that was furnished beautifully. And she had a storage unit filled with her um, workout clothes because she was also a designer. And so she created this amazing line called Switch It Diva. And it's like, you can switch all the things and make it look different. And it's really creative. Um, so. I guess I'm taking that on. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a lot. So I'm still wrapping my brain around and everything. So this is what my month of February has been. Um, five years ago, Oscar and I moved her into that apartment and we had a fiasco with the um, trucks. They broke down in Texas in the middle of the country, in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the night. And um, we had to like transfer the trucks. And so when we were driving this truck, I got like PTSD. I was like, <gasps> and we we're driving up the hill and the, the truck is shaking. And it was so heavy that it felt like the truck was going to give out again. And it was the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, oh my God, if this thing breaks down again, oh, and I was like crying. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't do this again. I can't switch to trucks in the middle of the night on the side of the road i mean i have pictures of all this guys and it was just so traumatic five years ago when we did the first move and then this move we had to take the furniture to our brother-in-law's house which is like in the mountains and there were like um dirt roads like these little dirt roads with potholes and we're in this big truck and i'm like oh, we're not gonna make it <laughs> it was so wacky so um i'm not gonna use the word a n x i e t y i'm gonna say it was bumpy <laughs> <laughs> Literally, figuratively, everythingly, it was freaking bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. Life has been bonkers and bumpy, bumpy and bonkers. <laughs> I feel like Mary Poppins, and I did have a huge bag taking everything out. So, bonkers and bumpy and bumpy and bonkers. <laughs> So yeah, it's been a lot. Um, and at the same time, that bang on my head on February 1st, as we know, all things we want to learn from, right? We want to make sure that if something happens in our life, um, we draw the lesson from it. We draw what we can take away and what we can take forward, right? That is like one of my biggest takeaways in life. It's like things aren't happening to you. They're happening for you. And why is it happening for you? What can you draw from that that gives you a better perspective on how you can move forward and how you can live better so that's one of the biggest things that I've learned for myself is like, what is the lesson in everything? What can we take away from something that is perhaps challenging or, or requiring us to up level, right? So for me, that bump on the head <laughs> that happened on my sister's birthday, not coincidentally, right, um, was a wake up call. I needed to wake up, y'all. I was coasting. I was um, kind of just, you know, grieving, mourning, shying away, Netflixing and chilling a lot. Um, and that's okay. That was part of my healing process, right? The good thing is that when I watch Netflix, it's like I'm also like doing research because I'm an actor. So like I 
do it for that. So I'm like, I'm Netflixing and chilling, but guess what? It's homework too. <laughs> so my brain, I justify it with that. But whatever that is for you, right? So um, I needed to wake up. I got literally banged in the head, probably by my sister. <laughs> she was probably like, okay, yeah, okay, get up. Come on, get to work. And I was like, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. So yes, I had a concussion and yes, it was, you know, foolish of me, but it hurt and I don't recommend it. <laughs> it freaking hurt and it was really scary because I had to make sure that I didn't have internal bleeding and that, you know, it didn't get worse, right? And that like, you know, we could catch something, right? Heaven forbid, oh, that's where I hit my head. <laughs> Because you know this is me, okay? I mean, you know me by now. I'm gonna laugh it off because it didn't escalate to anything worse, okay. right? That is what um, this year so far has been for me. And it's a lot. And I know you all are going through a lot. And that's okay, right? This is a time of graduation. This is a time of getting to that next rung on the ladder, or if you play video games, getting to that next screen, right? When you unlock a new door and you get into like this whole new world, this is that, y'all. This is that. This is what we must do in order to go through what we need to get to, right? So let's take a deep breath, y'all. Everyone is feeling a lot. And what are the lessons in that for you? Um, Till next time. All right, guys. I love you all. Happy weekend, yay. And um, take good care of yourselves and um, be amazing. Bye for now. Bye, everybody. So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel. So keep watching.